I'm not usually up at 7am, but today is furniture delivery day. Let's get into it. We finally have a couch living room set. The guys came this morning, dropped it off, set it up. Looks freaking awesome. What do you think? I really like our living room setup. It looks super modern, exactly what we were looking for. I did do a poll on Twitter asking people what they thought would look best in here and pretty much everyone voted for a sectional, but Josh and I just didn't think that a sectional would fit the area right. And especially when we saw this living room set, we were pretty much sold instantly because of two main things. One, it's pretty modern. And the second thing is all of the sectionals and that chair over there are recliners. So. It doesn't look like it, but if you wanted to, you could kick your feet up and get pretty comfy and watch a movie. And then you can also adjust the headrest so it can go all the way back or it can go all the way down like that. But this is pretty much like a dentist's chair if you go all the way back like this. <laughs> Definitely going to be having some good movie nights. Yes, and, and good gaming nights. And gaming. So originally when we picked out the coffee table and the side table, we weren't 100% sure that we were going to like it in the space. We love the design, but it was more so the black color against the cream. So what I decided to do was add black accents into the living room. So we have a carpet or a rug that has little black lines on it. And then in our previous video, we talked about adding a wood panel here that's going to be black that's going to help pull in those colors into the living room. Now we've also added this black kind of like abstract lamp that has gold which is the same color as the fittings over in the kitchen but I think it's a really good way to blend all of the colors together in the living room. Now you might be wondering why would you buy nice furniture when you have cats? Well, we have the answer. You want to show? <laughs> yeah. So I actually came up with this idea and I said to Josh, you know what we should probably get for the new apartment? We should get a gate to keep the cats outside of the living area. Now they have this whole other side of the apartment and they have a cat room there that we're waiting on like cat towers and stuff. So this is plenty of room for them to play around. In our last apartment, they actually destroyed all of our furniture, all of it. So we were not able to take it with us when we moved, which is why we threw it all away. So they will not be coming into this area unless we bring them in here. Yeah, I was like, we either have cardboard boxes for <laughs> furniture or we can get something nice and have the gate. Look at all of our guests here. You guys can't come in. <laughs> Now I'd say the living room is looking pretty good so far, but there's still quite a bit left to do. We've got to put up some curtains because it's looking a bit bare at the moment. I think Nene's also got some plants that she's gonna hang up there, which I'm excited to see. We also need to install our surround sound system as well because at the moment we only have the one speaker just beneath the TV. We've got to add the satellite speakers in behind the couch. And then we also have this area as well. Now, we weren't quite sure what to do with this wall. It was kind of like a blank canvas. So we went back to Ikea and we decided to get some more shelves, well, cabinets, that are a lot shallower than these ones. So they only come out to like halfway. So we're gonna mount two of them, one on top and then another set on the bottom. And this is gonna just be a little bit more cabinet space for stuff in the kitchen. Maybe some like fancy drinking glasses, maybe some alcohol in there or something. I don't know, something like that. These are the curtain rods we picked up. So we decided to just go for some simple matte black curtain rods to kind of pull in the rest of the blacks in the room and to also contrast nicely with the curtains. Now, these are the curtains that I picked up. They're kind of like a white beige, a lot lighter than the couch, but it's kind of textured so that it stands out a little bit against the wall. But we want to let a lot of natural light into the room so they're not like super thick. They're pretty sheer. So go ahead and put these up. Yeah. Curtains are installed. They actually look really good. They kind of like change the whole feel of the room. Yeah, originally we thought about adding automatic blinds or shades to the living room, but we already felt like it was so modern in here that curtains really make a place feel cozy and adding plants in as well make it feel more relaxed. So after a long day of work, you can just come in and chill out. These are the new pillows we picked up. So we kind of wanted to pick something that tied in with the rug and kind of brings out the blacks. 
and they're also very soft as well. <laughs> we also can't forget the blanket. <laughs> it matches pretty well with the pillows over here. It's the same material. So this is what the living room is looking like with all the decorations. You don't really need a lot to change a space to make it feel super cozy and inviting. What are you gonna do next? Okay, so we can either do the surround sound for the TV or we can build the cabinets. What, what do you think we should do? I think Nene really wants to do the cabinets because you want to see how they look. I've been asking him for like four days. If we can, can we put up it. the cabinets, please? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Cabinets are up on the wall. They look really good. They kind of helped to fill out this space because it was looking a little bit empty before. Uh, we decided to go for the glass doors in the end because we're planning on putting some stuff in here to display. And I'll probably end up bringing up some lighting as well so that you can see what's actually in the cabinets. But yeah, super happy with how they turned out. Now that that's done, we can move on to the surround sound because we have to hook up our sub and our two satellite speakers, which we're planning on putting behind the couch. We've actually picked up some stands for them as well, which I'll show you now. Yeah, so these are the speaker stands we picked up. We got them from Best Buy. They cost around $60 for the pair, which is not too bad. And they can take any speakers up to about three or four pounds. We're just using some very small and light bookshelf speakers here from Samsung. I think speaker number one can go round about there. And then speaker number two can go over here on the other side. So that's what it's looking like so far. We've got the two satellite speakers on either side of the main couch. We also have the sub that we need to locate as well. I think I'm gonna be putting that down the side of the couch right there. Now guys, I am by no means an audio expert. So if any of you watching have experience setting up like home theaters, let me know what you think to the placement of the speakers. Should they be a little bit higher? Should they be further back? Should I move the location of the sub? Let me know in the comments. And then this thing is the final piece to the puzzle. This is basically just a wireless receiver. So the two speakers and the sub connect to this, and then this communicates wirelessly with the soundbar. This is what we've got in terms of cable management. So I've basically just fished the speaker wire through the bottom of the speaker stand and up through the tube in and then we can get that plugged in. And I think we'll run all the rest of the cables just underneath the couch. Now, I know some of you might be wondering why we decided to go with like a sound bar system instead of like a proper sound setup. We live in an apartment, so we're kind of limited on how loud we can have stuff. So it doesn't really make any sense to have like huge subs and huge speakers. But yeah, we picked this kit up in 2021. I think we paid around $800 for it. And I've been really impressed. It sounds awesome. It is the next morning. I thought I'd just give you guys a final little tour of how the space is looking. It looks freaking sick, especially in the mornings when you got all the sunlight coming through. It just makes the room feel so airy. We did end up using the surround sound last night to watch some movies on the TV. It sounded freaking awesome. And I did actually finish off doing some cable management. So this sound bar has two cables coming from it. It has a power cable and also an HDMI cable that goes to the eARC port on the TV. What I ended up doing was drilling a hole underneath this cabinet. So basically the cables can just drop straight through and then they can go to the TV. So yeah, we're both super happy with how the space has turned out so far. Now this is not the end of this series. We still have more to do. We're waiting on those panels to come for behind the TV. And I've also got to figure out how many LED strip kits we're gonna need to do the entertainment center. So that's all gonna be for another video. As always, we hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, it helps the channel out. If you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you along for the journey. And and with that being said, thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you all in the next one.